Hello, I'm going to show you how to farm over 6,000 tokens in just two minutes. All right, so I have four characters here, all strategically placed around the map at certain chests that spawn high yield items. So let's start with one of the highest yield ones. I'm using a level 11 miner. All you have to do is have lots of inventory space for this one. So I recommend that you make a miner, level it to 10 or 11, and you can place it in this area and loot it every 37 minutes. All right, so the area is going to be J33 at the Old Ruins. This is located at the very top right of the map here. You start here in Solar City, then you just travel to the east here, cross this little bridge across the Green River, and you'll get to the Old Ruins. Now, you have to do a little bit of parkour to get to the chest. But it's very easy. Anyone should be able to do it. You can ignore the bugs. They'll just die into the poison. So you have to cross this little narrow walkway. No big deal. Jump across this broken wall. And without... Make sure you don't touch the green stuff, because it'll instantly kill you. New, ru a running jump here to this construction garbage. Ta-da! You have an earring worth 300. Some... Quest Junk 5, Bronze Statuette for 150, not a big deal, uh, Beer Cans, uh, $1 each, again, useless. Now these horseshoes are worth 10, but if you go to a mining town, one horseshoe is one iron bar, which is easily 50 or more. Uh, if you make it to an iron bar, it's good experience. I actually uh, took a whole stack of these that I'd farmed for about a month and leveled a character from 1 to 14 in one sitting, from just crafting. Very good. Finally, the big one, the Golden Bengal, worth a thousand, and some other junk that's worth twenty. So I just hit spacebar, loots everything, and yeah, now I'm just gonna log this character out here, and every 37 minutes, I can log into this character and make an easy 1,500. Not bad. Next up is another Golden Bengal. This one is not a big payout, but it's still a thousand, and it's very easy to get to. Alright, so this one is located... Around here, G27. And what you're doing is you're looking for dying trees from radiation. So when you enter this area, you're going to start taking radiation damage. Just eat a anti-radiation pill. They only cost 50 each. And you're looking for this big, nasty radiation pile. And you're looking for this guy here, this green corpse. Loot him, and he's got a lighter, a watch worth 50, and a golden bingo worth 1,000. So just loot him, log out, don't worry, the radiation, it's very small. Just one pill is all you need, you don't need to chug a whole bunch of them. You'll be fine. And that's another 1,000. Again, it respawns every 37 minutes. This next one is located in a cave. I like to start at Karovi Village here, and you're going to walk up here to the strange place located at D105. You'll want to bring lots of ammo for this one. This one also is a huge payout. It does take a little bit more time to farm, though. So you want to approach the strange place from the south side. There are two entrances to this house, and you want to go through the south entrance. Funny enough, the door does not render until you get close enough to it. See, look. No door? Door. No door? Door. Could just be my computer. I do have graphic settings on low. Alright, so you're going to run through the house into the cave. When you enter the cave, you will always be facing the same direction. You want to go forward. So just run forward. There's only one path here. There's nothing on that side. Just keep going forward. Kill everything in your way. I'm using a mercenary because they have the highest DPS at mid-range. There is plenty of other things to loot, like coal and metal, which are worth a good amount of money, but because I'm going to keep this character here for quite some time, I don't want to overburden my weight. This guy has two med kits. Usually I don't loot these, I just use them from the corpse, like so. These aren't really worth the weight or the money. Just continue through the cave. I know there's metal on that side, I'm not getting it. Like I said, it weighs too much, it's not worth it. Alright, you'll see a green wall here. It's kind of glowy. After you pass the green wall, there is a teddy bear on the ground. Most people overlook this. 
And here you have the gold chain worth 2,000. Very good. So you'll notice this glitch. I'm aiming at the bug, and it's not doing a hit. You have to aim above the bug. Or wait for it to stand on top of the hill. There's usually four bug spawns here. I'm not sure why there's only one. That's kind of odd. Oh, there's another one. Yeehaw! Anyway, run over here to the left, and you have a dabbing corpse. What it gets. He's got... Golden Bangle and a watch. You can also get radioactive metal and metal from here. Somebody looted the metal. Interesting. Very interesting. That might be why there's not any bugs here. Why would they not loot the bangles though? Hmm? Hmm. Well, after this video, maybe they'll know. So again, every 37 minutes. I'm using a level 23 hunter for this next one. You can do this as early as level 12, I believe. And this one isn't so much a chest spawn. This is just something to farm while you wait for your chest to spawn. This is the best mob farming spot in the game for time, investment in ammo, and the run back to town. In this case, I just kill myself to teleport to town. You can have the loot, since I already have a sample of it. I'm just gonna show off the loot here. So this spider dropped two metal, that's a hundred, and some other shit. But they can drop up to nine of these per spider. And each of these is worth 100. Very good, and they give about 800 to 1,500 experience, depending on your class. As far as being a hunter, make sure you're in the Black Sunset faction, because this is Black Sunset territory. Right here, located at K81. Otherwise, they will kill you. Ooh, I just got four crits in a row. Look at that, it took half its health. I'm using a Magnum as it is the cheapest ammo. And it kills these quite quickly. 815 experience. Didn't get any metal drops that time. This guy's been grinding here. I think he was level 14 a day ago. He's 18. This dude is going to be super rich and super loaded. As you can see, all I have on me is the Magnum, some ammo. Uh, I want to keep my weight as low as possible as far as skills. I want to make sure that I have as much weight as possible. All the pistol abilities here. And very important that you get the Biologist. Uh, you get this at 20. Increases drop rate by 20%, which also on weekends, the devs sometimes up the drop rate by another 30%. So you can get about 15 medals sometimes from these dudes. Very good. So... What I like to do is I stand in the corner of K8, and you can actually see them when they uh, they pop up if you're a hunter. Hunters can see mobs on the map. And I just kind of patrol around here. Alright, I can hear spider. You want to make sure that you're nearby, otherwise they will burrow back into the ground. And here I'm animation canceling the reload. That way I can increase my DPS. Alright, that one was worth 900, and look, 9 precious metal, that's 900. That is almost a bingle. And you can, you can kill, like, 3 or 4 of these every couple minutes. What I do is I just park a character here, while I, uh, I do my body weight exercises, uh, my stretches, I may watch TV, YouTube, and they'll just run up to me and bite me, and when they bite me, I just turn around, and shoot them down. Normally these don't do damage, so I must have broken armor. Uh, yeah, 37% and 78. Could use a tune-up. It's all good. There we go, another 900 experience. Only got two metal that time. As you can see, these things weigh a lot. This is 9 kilograms. I usually carry about 400 bullets at a time. Once I um, overloaded, as in I have a red backpack where I can no longer loot, I just click suicide, wait 30 seconds, I pop back up at the Black Sunset Camp, vendor everything, and rinse and repeat. This is probably the best place to level in the game for money at level... You can start as early as 7. You don't have to, but uh, I, I, I recommend level 10 for this. As questing... Uh, until you get your M5 is probably the best way to go. Yeah, yeah, get him, Spider. Get him. Hello, Ginger. Shout out to Ginger. Level 18. Yeah, yeah. 
So, if you uh, if you would like any other money making tips, just let me know. These are not the absolute number one tips to make money. This is just what I'm willing to share with you currently that I used early on before I learned about wine bottle spawns, gold bar spawns, and other key items. These are items that you can get through keys, finding keys in the world, which unlock certain doors and cabinets. And with that, I am going to log out here, and I will see you guys on the forums, on YouTube, Twitch, wherever. Yeah, yeah. Get to farming, boys!